What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, a oh, couple music. So, guys, the race for the Senate is pretty intense right now in Georgia. I believe between, is it Ralph Warnock and former NFL running back Herschel Walker. Now, let me just say this. For those of you who are you know old enough to see Herschel Walker play, I mean, man, the guy was a sight to behold. I mean, he was just the complete back, um, especially in the time of error where, you know, it was open season on running backs and quarterbacks as far as tackle football. But despite his, you know, on the field uh, presence in the NFL and USFL, Herschel Walker is running on a Republican ticket in Georgia. And he may actually have a good chance to win. But now, to kind of diminish his campaign, um, people are coming out and saying that Herschel Walker really strongly dislikes or even, let's use the word, H-A-T-E, black women. Um, that is because he doesn't say anything positive about a black woman other than his own mother. Now, when he disagrees with, let's say, Ralph Warnock, um, you know, the, the accusations are he'll actually attack his political ideology. But if he is, you know, pretty much trying to, you know, talk about, let's say, a disagreement with the black woman, he doesn't stick on the political ideology. He pretty much uses ad hominem attacks to describe them. And as you know, um, Herschel Walker was found out he does have a black baby mama. So he is a hypocrite because he was saying like black men will take care of their kids. And then, you know, there he is not taking care of his kids. But I want to play this particular um, link of some um, Herschel Walker controversies, if you will. And then we'll come back. That that is a problem. I want people of Georgia to know that if you want to get this Georgia back together, you want to get this country back together. You got to vote for people that believes in this country. And if you don't believe in the country, leave and go somewhere else. Miss Abrams. Why are you why are you here? When our leader came out at the very beginning and said he was gonna elect a black female vice president, then I'm gonna elect a black female someone for the Supreme Court. You know, I think that's more racist than anything. But people yeah. call it out. Well, I'm gonna call it out. For people to stand on television or on the, on air and say things like that is disgusting. And you know, at the same time, I love to debate Joy Reid. <laughs> I think people to sit on TV and to talk is easy to talk. But I've been a man that have worked my whole life. I've built companies. I've signed in front of a paycheck. They've never done any of that. They've never done any of that. They don't know how to do it. I do. You have said you know who she is. You also said you think she's lying. Have you reached out to her? No, I never said I think she's lying. I said I know she's lying. Okay. See, have that's you a, reached that's out a to her? No, I didn't need to reach out to her because, first of all, but I'm saying I've already dealt with that. That is a lie. Not I. And I, I found out who she was at the last minute. And I said, well, that's a lie. And I moved on, my campaign moved on, and we're going forward. Why not reach out to her? And if why, why should I? Why do I need to? Okay. Tell me why do I need to. So, guys, you, you, heard, you heard that. Let me, let me just say this. Herschel Walker has you know, said some things, you know, called Joy Reid disgusting, and said that Stacey Abrams should leave Georgia. All right. I, I can get where, you know, some people are saying, like, you know, his rhetoric isn't black women are positive for black women. Now, I'm not hearing him call black women the B word, um, the H word. You know, like I said, I'm not hearing him say that at all. Now, clearly, a lot of these women out here don't mind if Cardi B and other ladies in, in the industry, you know, Glorilla call them that. But anyways, you know, they're having an issue because he's not talking to black women in the same light that they want to be talked to. Number one, why is it that a man who clearly... It's not trying to even reach black people. Doesn't really care. He's typically on, he's completely on the right. He's trying to win the conservative white Republican vote. Why does it matter that he's not, you know, really kowtowing to black women? And again, I love black women, just like I love my brothers, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all want Herschel Walker to say very positive things about you. When on the other hand, democratic black candidates, especially black women have little of anything positive to say typically about black men. All right. Like don't even take the concern of black men serious. I mean, this is really, it's, it's the truth. I mean, how many times like do we have to hear like, Oh, 
well, we understand that you're not getting what you want, but vote Democrat anyway, because why you want to go over there? So when you talk down to black men, it's okay. I mean, you can look at a lot of the democratic situations, even if they're not even Democrats, let's say Fox. Soul, Vivica Fox, you know, Silena Johnson, always talking in, in not always, but you know, it's in the negative connotation towards black men. You don't hear a lot of democratic female care, uh, um, people that are running for political offense, uh, office rather basically praise the success that black men are making. You don't hear it, but you want this man to have something to say about black women and then come out and says the man hates black women, which <clears throat> Herschel Walker may not really want to build a base with black people, but to say that he hates black women, I, I don't get that from the guy. I mean, is he a sellout? Yeah, absolutely. But I don't get that from Herschel Walker. What I get is that, you know, a lot of women want to be worshiped regardless of if they worship others. And so you get mad that other people don't want to give you that same respect. And that's typically what you see. You see one sidedness and this is not all sisters, but you know, what we're seeing in, in, in black America is a one sided behavior. This world is, it's not, you know, it's, it's linear. Okay. It's not going both ways. All right. It's not, it's not bimodal in any way, shape or form. Black women are looking for black men to pretty much kowtow to them. Even if black men traditionally in the forties or fifties are expected to be the same kind of black man today, black women don't have to do that. A black man, like my, my grandfather was born in 1918. In 1949, he was 31. He is expected, I'm expected to do the same thing that he was doing for women in 1949. But women are not expected in the black community to do the same thing that my grandma was doing in 1949 for a man, no. And every black man is not going to come out and want to either date black women or praise their accomplishments or want to cater to them. And that's something that you're seeing that's happening um, in the black world right now, especially the African-American community, rather. You're seeing a lot of guys that are not maybe not saying negative things about black women all the time, because not every guy is saying negative stuff. But what you're seeing is black, uh, black men and pretty much you know, getting away from that old worship the black woman archetype thing that we saw in the black community, they're going to do their own thing. And that is because largely because nobody cared about them. And again, it's now to come up with these things like, oh, you hate us or you hate and it's and it's going against the, the premise of what maybe the people are even talking about or there's an issue in the first place. And I think that it's kind of cheesy. You know what I mean? Now, if you want to say that Herschel Walker don't like black people at in general, I I could more likely buy that. But just to kind of just, you know, stick it to him and say like he hates black women, I just don't get that from the guy. But maybe I'm wrong, guys. What do you get? What do you get? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Where did you follow that you do? Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Yeah, yeah.